Hi Year 3, it's Miss Hill here. I'm going to talk to you about today's maths lesson. So it's Wednesday today and we're going to look at subtraction. So when you're thinking about subtraction today, I just want you to remember that you always need to place the biggest number first when you're calculating, okay? So the biggest number always needs to go first. And also, just like column addition, we need to place our okay, calculation into columns. So as you can see, 653 subtract 429, I have placed it into the ones column, the tens column, and the hundreds column. Okay, so just like our column addition, we're gonna place them in columns. I'm gonna put all my ones together, all my tens together, and all my hundreds together when I'm writing out the calculation. So we're gonna start by looking at this um, subtraction. Remember, subtraction is finding how many you've got left, okay? So it's about taking away to find out how many you have left. So I'm going to show you a place value counters because what we're going to do today is we're going to be exchanging in the tens, okay, for ones, okay? Because straight away, I can see that we cannot subtract nine from three because we don't have enough, okay? So this is where we'll need to exchange our tens for some ones because we don't have enough. Okay, so let's have a look at the number. So we've got 600, okay, 53. And we're subtracting, remember, 429. Okay, straight away I can't subtract nine away from my three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these tens and I'm gonna exchange it for 10 ones because that's exactly the same, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as you can see now, I had three ones, but I've added another 10 to this. So now I've got 13 ones, so I can subtract my nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross out the five because I've now got four tens, okay? Because I've had to regroup and exchange my t one 10 for 10 ones. And then I'm going to put a one here to say I have one 10 and three ones. So I now have 13 ones altogether. I'm now gonna subtract nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, as you can see, I'm left with one, two, three, four. So, I'm gonna draw a line and place my four ones there. I've got four ones left. Okay, because I had to exchange my one of my tens, okay, for 10 ones, so I had enough ones, I've now got four tens and I need to subtract two. Okay, so I'm gonna subtract two and I'm left with two. So I'm left with two tens. Okay, remember this is a tens column, so it's like I had 40 and I subtracted 20 and I'm left with 20. Okay, then I've got 600 and I need to subtract 400. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Four, okay, and I'm left then with 200. So the answer to my question is 224. Now I'm gonna show you the written method again, okay, and see if we come up with the same answer. Okay, I did do the written method at the bottom here, but I'm just gonna show you again, this is how it looked like. So we don't have enough ones, okay, to subtract nine, because we've only got three. So we are going to take one of those tens and we're gonna exchange it for 10 ones. So the 10 ones becomes a 10, and we put one 10 up there and three ones. So we've got 13, now subtract nine. So we can do that because 13 is bigger than nine. So 10, 11, 12, 13. As you can see, I've got four ones, just like I had up here in my place value chart. Okay, I had four ones, and I've got four ones again. So then I've got 40, subtract 20 which is 20. I know that four subtract two is two, so 40 subtract 20 is 20. Then I've got 600 subtract 400. I know six, so I've got six, and I go four, five, six. So I've got two hundreds left. So I came up with the answer 224 when I was doing it in my place value chart, as you can see. And now, when I've done the written method too, I've also got 224, so the answers match.
Okay, I hope that makes more sense. Um, I'm gonna go and do a go away now and do a second example. I'll see you later, take care, bye.